Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to use the little arm uh, GUI. So right here you can see I've got the Louis little arm interface up and running and if you see I can control the base of the arm, the shoulder, up and down, the elbow, a little hello, and of course the gripper. Just like this. And you can see it's a little bit slow right now. If you want to change the speed, it has a default speed. Uh, that'll let things kind of hustle along a little bit more and just lets it update a little more quickly just like this so we'll just go with the gripper or with the elbow here to show this you can see it's a little bit slow right there and there's kind of a leg on the oops a leg on the elbow and right now it's really really fast then bring it back down here to slow a little bit slow so that's just what the speed is for if you have something you want to go really fast. I'm going to set it at 6 because that's a good kind of a safe speed for what we're doing here. So for this uh, tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to grab one of the red cubes that are down uh, in front of the arm right now. Uh, let's see here, let me point to them. One of these little red cubes. One of those. And how we're going to do this is we're going to use the record function which are these three buttons down here at the base. Uh, first of all, off, I'm going to st start a new sequence. Get a new sequence up here, and I'm going to call this uh, red cube, and I want this on the desktop. And we'll save it as a text document. It has to be a TXT. Save that. Okay, so now we have a new sequence started, and we're going to start using it. I'm going to go ahead and record a position right here. And re it records basically where all the labels are. So this is the home position, right where it is right now is the home position. So now if we want to grab one of those red cubes, we just have to position the arm down there by one of the cubes and go through it. So I'm going to lower the shoulder, bring up the elbow a little bit more so we can reach out there big old long reach, even up the base, uh, bring down the shoulder some more. I'm actually going to record that spot. If you can record multiple waypoints, it's a lot easier uh, on the arm. So, and then bring the elbow down a little bit, and then I'm going to record that position, and then grip the cube. Oh, grip the cube. Oh, I missed it. Hold on just a moment. Let me get that cube moved back into position. There we go. So go ahead, grip the cube. That's a pretty good grip record that, record that you just gripped it, bring the shoulder up, I'm going to record that, then bring the base around, so you can all see I have a cube, then record that, do a small little pra uh, happy dance here, elbow up, elbow down, a little celebration. And then bring the elbow down, or position. Okay. Then bring it back up. Then I'm going to bring the shoulder back, the whole base back and around. I'm going to put it on one a different area from where it started. And I'm going to go ahead and bring the shoulder down. Actually, for this demo, I'm just going to put it out in black space. So let's go ahead and bring it over here. You'll notice I haven't recorded anything, so I can move it around wherever I want uh, while I'm working on this. I'll bring the shoulder down and the elbow down a little bit. Right there. Record the position and then release the gripper. Record that I released. And then I'm going to bring the shoulder up and the base around so it's facing the camera and record that okay so 
all of those have been recorded. What I should be able to do is put this red cube back and play it. So let's try it out. The red cube is back in its position. Now we should just be able to say play sequence and it should go through the whole sequence again. Picks up the red cube, has a little celebration right here, and then brings the cube back and sets it down. Now you can see how that very last motion, what, when I had moved it through, I had moved the shoulder down and the elbow down. But when it got the commands, it did them both simultaneously. Uh, that's really a choice up to you. If you want multiple movements to be uh, combined, then you record multiple movements into one record button, and it will just make those two motions at one time. But uh, if you want to do something a little bit different and just have it move like the elbow, then the shoulder, just move the elbow and record it, then move the shoulder and record it, and that's how that's done. And just to prove that this wasn't a fluke, let's do that one more time. go and play sequence again well I guess it was a fluke because we missed let's try it once more These cubes are pretty small, so it's kind of tough to get them right back in the right position. Play sequence. Mm -hmm. 